skin? Ali? That's not a thing. Hi guys, this is Rose and welcome back to my channel. So I get a lot of DMs about 10 step skincare routines, like do I need one, what products should I use, what order do I use them in? And my response nearly every single time is no, it's not necessary. You can have a great routine with just like four or five steps. But what a 10 step Korean skincare routine will do and what it really is for is to help you get the most out of your skincare, but also reap the best rewards from your skin. And there is a lot of science and like logic behind why the 10 step Korean skincare routine exists. Like it does get the best out of your skin. Um, and each of those steps helps the other improve your skin, if that makes any sense. It all works together to create hopefully a beautiful product. But I understand that it can be quite intimidating. And especially for people with sensitive skin because the market of products that you can actually buy is pretty narrow. Um, and so it's very difficult to kind of think about building up this whole routine. So I really wanted to break it down and I've created the easiest 10 step Korean skincare routine that I can possibly think of specifically for sensitive skin. Now, of course, if you don't have sensitive skin, if you have like normal skin or dry skin or whatever kind of skin, then these products will work for you as well because they're like non-irritant and all of those good things. So the first step you're gonna to wanna to go in with is an oil cleanse. And the one that I'm gonna to recommend today for you guys is this one from Super Facialist. This is their Vitamin C Brighten Cleansing Oil. And it's funny, this is the product that I find myself recommending the most when people come to me and say they wanna start double cleansing. And that's because it's really, really effective, but also completely non-irritating. So obviously the superstar ingredient here is Vitamin C, which has mild brightening properties. However, it's a cleanser. It's not really on your face long enough to do very much. However, what it will do is it will remove your SPF and also other oils from your skin. So what I do is I put a little bit in my hands and then I start massaging onto my face and then I add a little bit of water and it lathers up into this really nice kind of milky consistency. And then when I wash it off, the great thing is it leaves absolutely no film. A lot, a lot of my friends use this and it kind of gets along with all skin types. Everybody seems to really love it. Um, I do have very, very sensitive skin as you guys know and I've got along with this absolutely fine. I've also used this when I've had eczema on my face um, and it didn't irritate that at all so that's always kind of the benchmark for me as to whether or not a product is going to work with sensitive skin. The next step in your routine is going to be another cleanse, your second cleanse and the product that I'm going to recommend for you today um, is this one from Sioris. This is their Cleanse Me Softly Milk Cleanser and this is just such a stunning product both physically but also skinnily. Skin? Ali? That's not a thing. As the name might suggest, it lathers into this kind of milky consistency, which is not traditionally what a second cleanse looks like. Usually they are like a water-based cleanser, which lathers into like a soapy consistency. But sometimes those water-based cleansers can be a little bit irritating or stripping to the skin. And this has just been absolutely such a godsend for me um, and a really brilliant second cleanse. The reason that you wanna go in with the second cleanse is because uh, you want to get rid of everything that the oil cleanser left behind and that is something that this cleanser does very very well basically your oil cleanser gets rid of makeup and spf and this cleanser will get rid of everything else it just leaves my skin so soft and hydrated and there's no film and just like really clean but also nourished which is the most ideal situation that you could possibly be in again like the super facialist oil i know a lot of people that use this product and with different skin types and they all seem to really love it it's a very kind of like low irritant cleanser and i would be very surprised if somebody had serious issues with this product and while we're here i just want to touch on why this particular product is so effective and it it goes back to the company Sioris and they're really, really dedicated to making sure that their ingredients are of the highest, highest quality. They spend a lot, a lot of money making sure that the ingredients are harvested at the prime possible time. Now, obviously that's a little bit difficult because harvesting doesn't happen all year round. Like you have to harvest certain ingredients at one particular point. So Sioris get around this by changing up the formulas very slightly. Um, throughout the seasonal changes, which I think is really interesting because not only is it really great for the environment, but also it means that you're guaranteed that your ingredients in the products that you buy are, are of the highest quality, which I just think is really cool. Like even if it costs them a little bit more money, their like dedication to like quality is like very applaudable and um, 
highly recommend. So now we're on to step three, and that is exfoliating your face. And today I'm actually going to suggest an exfoliating mask because that is the gentlest way that I know to properly exfoliate your face. And the one I'm going to recommend today is this one from Innisfree. It is very, very famous, so you guys probably know all about it, but it is the Jeju Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. Now what I particularly love about this clay mask is how gentle and nourishing it is on my face. Sometimes clay masks can be a little bit dry Trying, uh, but this one is basically the complete opposite. It's actually very hydrating to my skin and when I wash it off my skin always feels like very soft and plump and just like happy skin. And interestingly a top tip that I do is I actually keep this in the fridge so when I put it on my face I have that extra cooling sensation which just makes it a very pleasant experience all round. I use this two times a week so even though it's the third step in our routine I'm not going to do this every single day just twice a week is fine and basically what this does is that it cleans out all of your pores to make sure that blemishes don't come about and if you do have blemishes then it's going to reduce the redness pretty significantly. So our faces are now clean and exfoliated and all of the badness on our skin is now off our skin so we can go in with step four of our routine which is a toner. So a toner is actually very very important because what it does is it balances the pH level on your skin and if the pH level is off then the other products that you're going to put on won't work as well. And the one I'm going to suggest today is this one. This is the Soon Jung line from Etude House. This is their relief toner. Now this is a fantastic fantastic toner for sensitive skin and what I really love about it is that it focuses solely on hydrating your skin and balancing the pH levels of your skin. It has a very watery texture which is very common for Korean toners and what I do is I put some into the palm of my hands and then pat on my face until absorbed. The ingredients list is also really lovely. It's basically just a bunch of very hydrating ingredients, nothing irritant and nothing that I would worry would be a problem for sensitive skin. So now we're going to move on to our fifth step of our routine which is essences. Now essences are basically products that like super prep your skin. I like to use the analogy of a sponge like you know how you run water on a dry sponge and it doesn't really absorb very well however if you run water on a slightly damp sponge then all of the water gets absorbed really beautifully and it's great. Beautifully is a very strange way to describe water being absorbed by a sponge but you understand what I'm trying to say. Basically that's what an essence does for your face. It makes sure all of the other products that you're going to put on your face get absorbed properly because you're spending a lot of money on these products so you want them to work the best they can. That's why essences are important. Now personally my favorite essence for sensitive skin is this one from I'm From. This is their mugwort essence and obviously the star ingredient is mugwort. Mugwort is a really fantastic ingredient for calming and soothing the skin and what's cool about this particular product is that it's 100% mugwort. There's nothing else. For me I get a lot of angry red skin because my skin just hates everything pretty much. Very similar to me as a person. So this is an essence that really helps talk it off the ledge, calm it down a little bit. I actually talked a lot about the benefits of mugwort and a lot of other ingredients in my how to reduce redness video which I will link somewhere here so you can go and check that out but um, basically it's just a really fantastic lovely essence to use and definitely reduces redness pretty significantly on my skin. So now that we've prepped our skin, we're going to start treating our skin with our sixth step and that is serums and ampules. However, before we start talking about serums and ampules, I just want to put it out there that they are very, very personal products because everybody has different types of skin and everybody has different skin concerns and issues and you need to choose serums and ampules that target those issues. Even if a serum or ampule is really really great for sensitive skin, if it targets an issue that you don't have like acne or scarring then there's not a huge amount of point in using it because you're not getting the full benefits. However, having said that, there are a couple that I am going to recommend today which are my favourites. First one is this one from The Plant Base. This is their Time Stop Collagen Ampule. Now, I consider myself a young human person. I understand very little about taxes. The idea of marrying someone is frankly terrifying and I regularly forget to top up the oil in my car. When I feel like those things no longer apply to me, then I am an adult. Up until then, I am a youth. However, I am genetically blessed by fine lines and wrinkles on my face, which is great. I love it. The ones on my forehead are thanks to a strangely expressive forehead and the ones around my eyes are because 
God thought it would be fun for me to look like a naked mole rat. I don't know, but they're there. And this is the ampule that I use to look less like a naked mole rat. It has a fantastic consistency. It absorbs really beautifully into my skin. And best of all, it works superbly. The main ingredient in this is mushroom, which helps to stimulate the production of collagen, um, which plumps fine lines and wrinkles. Another thing that's really fantastic is the ingredients list is very non-irritant. Um, there's no fragrance, there's no alcohol, there's no other ingredients that I would be slightly worried about. And for me, it has just worked beautifully. Now this next product I'm gonna talk about is one that I would suggest to people if they are currently dealing with irritation. It's from Be Plain, and this is their Seekerful Amp. Now, as the name may suggest, the main ingredient in this is Centella Asiatica, fantastic for soothing and calming the skin. Fun fact, this is one of the top three most popular serums slash ampules in all of South Korea at the moment. So if you particularly enjoy riding those trend waves, then get out your surfboard. I hate myself. That was a dreadful joke. Please just ignore me. This is a very, very good ampule. It's, it's just beautiful and I really, really like it. And I would definitely recommend it if you have sensitive skin. So now we're on step seven of our 10 step Korean skincare routine. And we're gonna go in with one of my all time favorite products, type of product, I should say, sheet masks. So sheet masks are very similar to serums and ampules in that they're made up of very concentrated, potent ingredients that are used to treat your skin. And there are so many options for sheet masks when it comes to sensitive skin, so many. However, one of my all time favorites is this one. It's from CNP Laboratory. This is their Quick Soothing SOS Mask. It's actually a pretty unique mask and then it actually has two steps. So the first step is that you use the ampule and then you go in with the sheet mask. It's got a great bunch of ingredients, uh, lovely humectants like glycerin and butylene glycol, but also niacinamide, which we know is a fantastic ingredient, especially for brightening the skin. But what's absolutely key, especially when we're talking about sensitive skin, is um, that it also contains willow bark, which is a fantastic anti-inflammatory and soothing ingredient. This is definitely one of my top five favorite sheet masks ever, which is quite a statement and definitely one I go for if my skin is feeling a little bit sensitive. So moving on to step eight, that's not eight, that's 10. Moving on to step eight, we're gonna go in with a moisturizer. So the one I'm gonna recommend to you guys today is from Dr. G. This is their Red Blemish Clear Soothing Cream and it is just one of my holy grail products. I am completely and utterly madly devoted to this moisturizer. It's super hydrating, but also specifically formulated to help get rid of redness and irritation, which is fantastic for people with sensitive skin because those are issues that a lot of you guys deal with as well. This is actually a very lightweight gel that I feel absorbs really beautifully into my skin and doesn't feel oily or greasy. Also in terms of ingredients, it's got lovely stuff in there, like niacinamide to brighten your skin, but also Centella Asiatica, my most loyal and trustworthy friend. I use this all year round and I would definitely highly recommend this if you have sensitive skin because for me anyway, it's been a lifesaver and I, I just adore it. So now we're gonna move on to step nine slash 10 and this step depends completely on what time of the day you're doing the routine. So if you're doing this in the morning, then you're gonna wanna go in with an SPF. Now sunscreens are really tricky for people with sensitive skin because so often they include fragrance within the formulations. Now, not everyone with sensitive skin is allergic to fragrance. However, I would say the vast majority of people with very sensitive skin do have some kind of irritation when it comes to fragrance. Therefore, because this is a routine designed to be almost foolproof for people with sensitive skin, I wanna go with an SPF that doesn't include fragrance. And the one I'm gonna recommend to you guys is actually not this one. So why am I holding it up? I'm holding it up because the one I want to recommend is the sister slash brother of this um, SPF. The product I'm referring to is from Purito, their Centella Green Level Safe Sun Unscented is the one that I wanna recommend. Not that this one is gonna be irritating. For me, it's not irritating at all. However, for some people, it might be a little bit irritating. The really cool thing about this product line is that it contains Centella Asiatica, which I will not bore you with, I promise you, but you guys know what's great about Centella Asiatica. I think it's a really lovely sunscreen. It delivers fantastic protection and isn't oily or greasy or any of those things. It's just really beautiful. And so finally, guys, we're on to our last step, which is what you're gonna to wanna to do in the evening time, and that is use a sleeping mask. 
Now I just want to address a slight misconception when it comes to sensitive skin that you always have to placate sensitive skin um, and you can't really work towards improving your skin because every time you do that your skin reacts and it's all just a nightmare and you regret it immediately. Believe me, I get you, I have been there. Um, every single time you try a new product or you try to do something a little bit radical with your skin then it just goes red and inflamed and you get blemishes and it's all dreadful. However, that is not always the case. There are certain ingredients and there are certain products that you can use that will very gently and smoothly allow you over a large period of time to improve your skin. And this sleeping mask is a product that for me has been absolutely fantastic in achieving that very kind of gradual improvement. This is from Cosrx. This is their Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. Now obviously the key ingredient here is rice, which has been used by Asian women for years to improve the health of their skin and their hair. And what it is is a fantastic brightening ingredient. So if you use this over a couple of months or maybe half a year, then you will definitely notice an increase in the um, health health of your skin, the, the brightness of your skin, and the tone of your skin. For example, I used to have really awful hyperpigmentation and scarring here, and I never really thought I'd be able to find a product that would like attack it and, and, and improve it as well as it possibly could, um, but this one has definitely made a huge change in my skin tone. The rest of the ingredients are fab, there's nothing that I would think would be at all irritating, there's no alcohol, there's no fragrance, none of those gross things that we don't really want to go towards when we have sensitive skin and also the texture is really nice it's very light um, and non-oily and non-greasy which I love in a sleeping mask so guys that is the end of our 10-step Korean skincare routine I am very confident in the products that I have referred you to today um, especially if you have sensitive skin I would definitely put money on these not hurting your skin I, I won't put money on it because I don't really have any money right now, but if I did, then I would be very confident in these. Uh, please, if you feel like I've missed out any products that you would highly recommend if you have sensitive skin, pop them down below. I would love to hear your comments and your thoughts. And if you liked this video, then please come back this time next week for a new video. Thank you so much. Bye.